Hi guys, so I've said in the past how pro-Tory, pro-Brexit newspapers will take a negative story and attempt to spin it into a positive in order to convince the public that Brexit is going smoothly. Now I'm going to show you two articles, one from a car magazine and then the other from a pro-Tory, pro-Brexit newspaper. The same information, but we're going to see how Brexiteers consume it. Now this is, for, this is in regard to Honda and their factory in Swindon. They're planning to close it and they're going to lay off about 3,500 people. It says here, back in 2019, Honda announced the closure of the Swindon factory as part of the car maker's global restructuring strategy. The, uh, the plant is currently building the Civic with production set to end this July, which is when the current model will make way for the new one. The article goes on to say, Honda will decommission the factory once production of the current Civic has ended and will hand it over um, hand it over to Panettone in spring 2022. Honda will build the next Civic at the factory in Yori, Japan, according to the latest reports. Now, Panettone are going to invest £700 million in this site. Um, they're planning to attract businesses, uh, new businesses and existing businesses to Swindon. This is not uh, Honda maintaining the business. Honda are closing the factory. Now, there has been a global restructuring, but also Brexit does not help the situation. So Honda, uh, who have been operating in, uh, in Swindon for many years, are closing it. People are losing their jobs. Some people may be able to, <clears throat> uh, may be able to find a new job, but not doing the same work because they're, they're specialized in cars. These jobs will be in logistics. So how do Brexiteers view the same story? Well, this is from the, day, the Express. It says here, shame on you, Project Fear. Thousands of jobs saved at UK Honda plant despite Brexit. Now, I've said before, the Brexiteers will not read past the headline. They read the headline and they see, ah, Project Fear dismissed jobs saved at Honda plant. So if you didn't actually know anything, you'd probably, you'd probably think, oh, well, Honda are not closing down or uh, the jobs that people are doing in Honda are saved. Maybe there, maybe Ford is opening up there or something else. If you actually read into the article, you see um, how it says, uh, it says here, James Watson, development director of Panettone said, Panettone is committed to invest over 700 million pounds into the site to attract new employers and provide for existing businesses looking to expand in Swindon. So this is about, this is not about saving jobs. This is about potentially um, providing new jobs or um, allowing existing companies to move into this site. This is not about saving jobs in Honda. This is not about creating, really creating new jobs. It's about shifting some work perhaps, or perhaps there may be some new jobs created, but it won't be the, doing the work that these Honda uh, staff were trained to do. As I said, some of these some of these people may be able to find jobs in this logistics company, others will not. But if you're a Brexiteer and you see this headline, then you're convinced that Brexit was not a problem. That, uh, as they said, despite Brexit, uh, thousands of jobs were saved. This, of course, is a lie. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?